Oh, hey! I totally wasn't expecting you. Come on in. I'm Greg from Pigeons Playing Ping Pong here on Presto Tour in support of our new album, which is pretty good if I say so myself. Um, we're on the tour bus. Uh, this is where I sleep. It's cozy, but um, you know, I wake up and we're in the next town, so I must be doing something right. And uh, yeah, nice big wheel, sturdy, keeps it moving. So we got the co-pilot seat here with a beautiful jacket and a Razor scooter for our travel needs once we're in town. Our bassist loves to cruise around town on wheels. And uh, you'll see our tour manager up here a lot, like making plans with the driver or waking me up while I'm asleep behind the wheel and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's a pretty good hang. Got some cheese, need that. And uh, let's check it out, come on. All right. Speaking of tour managers, Kevin, a.k.a. Frank, is playing some Super Smash. Now, if he gets confused, he can always look up and play there. Um, you know, you, you never have too many screens of, of uh, intense fighting video games. And, uh, yeah, some good times are had. People sit here and play. People sit here and play. People stand in the middle and, and don't play, you know? Well, right now, uh, Frank here is uh, boning up for his next rematch with Sandy, our uh, monitor tech. They have an ongoing battle, and uh, each claims to be better than the other. It's the weirdest thing. Uh, my money's on Frank, but don't tell Sandy, because he will beat me in Smash over it. I got it. Here we have our walkie-talkie station, where we can keep in the loop, just in case he actually has to work, because we do pay him. Um, not to just play video games, but he's pretty good, so he could probably get a job with Smash. And, uh, oh, this was a good day. We were just in Bend, Oregon, and we went to the last remaining Blockbuster. I bet you didn't expect to see this, but uh, it was amazing. Very nostalgic. Flipped through some movies. Unfortunately, I didn't have my card with me. I would have rented some. Saw some Jack Black movies I had never heard of. It was, it was awesome. We went there, and I don't know why it's in Bend, Oregon, but Blockbuster lives, and we are stoked about it. The kitchen, you know? Sink. Gotta have that. Got some cheese. Um, we have you know, coffee makings and hot water heaters. We use this guy a lot because we're big tea drinkers. You guys told us we have the most impressive tea drawer you've ever seen, so I gotta show you. Big tea drinkers, got a lot going on here. I personally usually rock an Irish breakfast with a throw coat before the shows. Give me some energy and uh, as well as uh, keep that singing voice sounding good. I know our bassist likes, uh, what is this like? Oh, here's ginger, I think it's a Moroccan mint. He got really enjoys fresh ginger to put in my tea right over there. He's got some fresh ginger, some cheese. Um, yeah, and you know, a little peppermint in the morning. It's delightful. We got uh, nuts, snacks, you know. Got your uh, beet Plas chips. Classic beet chips. Classic beet chips for this guy. Thank you. There you go. What else we got? Ugh. Honey. No tour is complete without some honey. Crackers. You know, the works. Uh, oh cool, we just got this recently. Some fan made us a uh, like laser etched paddle because we're pigeons playing ping pong. So here's a pigeon playing something on a paddle. Uh, I love that. And this, uh, oh, this awesome family gave us a bunch of cookies and snacks and cheese and a baguette and that was really cool. So thank you Susan, Oliver, Derek, and Evan. It was, they were delicious. They gave us about like 85 cookies. They were gone in two days. It was, uh, it was remarkable. Fortunately, we sweat a lot on stage, so that's our form of exercise, and you saw Ben's scooter, so. Um, you know, you can never have enough cups, hot, cold, medium, in between, cup holders, this thing. Who keeps these? Us. <laughs> um, you know, got some uh, old liquor bottles here and liquor cabinets over here. Definitely stocked up with some scotch and whiskey, and I'm a big tequila guy, so Espolone Silver is my drink, in case anyone's wondering. And uh, yeah, get toasty from time to time. You know, gotta check out the fridge. Yep, this is a fridge. Oh man, this stuff right here, Runa Energy Tea, we would not survive on tour without it. This is like the clean energy boost that we drink before shows that like, especially on tour, like this is week five, and you know, it, it, you can kind of get tired from time to time, but Runa is like the best remedy for that. It, it's, it's not like Red Bull or other ones with like a million crazy ingredients. It's just like clean energy. It's from like a root in like Ecuador or something. It's a natural form of energy and we nice. love it. 
Gaiusa. Guayusa. So we got that, you know, we got the vitamin cook, you know, the Vita Coco, keep us hydrated and oh this is actually hard kombucha. So if you like the booch and you like to get crazy, flying embers got you covered. Got some cheese, you know. Got a freezer up top where we keep our tennis balls apparently. <laughs> Tour is weird. I love it. Um, oh man, if you're ever touring, you gotta bring a shoe rack because when you have 10 plus people on there and some people have a million shoes, you gotta hang them or else they're all over the floor. So we got flip flops, got some cheese. Um, actually, it's cool. Some of these buses are like futuristic, so the door here is curved, but that's not great when you have a shoe rack that you need to have stay. And this thing just recently came crashing down on us a few times. It's currently still sticking with us, but it is hanging on by a thread, uh, but you need it. And it smells great, just right at, at nose height. But this is the bathroom. You know, we got a beautiful toilet here if you were curious. Got some cheese. There's a... Uh, we got a shower here that's very hard to get into and the water hits you in an interesting angle but it's something and I think everyone knows with the bathroom that it is a uh, number one only policy if you poop on the bus then you are poop out of luck and on the side of the bus when we leave town because uh, it stinks and you get fined so in the mornings we'll uh, we'll wake up Ben will use a kettlebell while reading oh, uh, kettlebell in it. I'll wake up and do some work here. Jeremy, our guitarist, and I throw a music festival back in West Virginia called Dome Fest every May. So we'll be on here making calls, you know, booking and you know, talking to vendors and volunteers, all that. Um, this right here is actually funny. Chris Lane left his tour pass on the bus when we we found it about like week one or two. It was hiding under here, and that's actually like a kind of unknown secret of the bus life. Is a lot of times the bands before will leave you a trinket like a I found like Blackberry Smokes guitar pick. We have Chris Lane's pass and uh, two new uh, bracelets, and uh, actually Kendall found them in his his uh, bunk pouch, which you'll see soon. Yeah, no, no, you know you'll find stuff under the bed. Normally it's like a gift from the band. Sometimes it's just something else from the last band that you wouldn't want to find under a bunk, which uh, no one likes. One time I was sitting here uh, getting some work done and uh, I thought I was uh, losing my mind because everything started moving but the ground outside was not moving. I kind of freaked out. Then I realized that the bus was like doing its slide out thing. It was extending. Uh, gives us an extra like three feet, which doesn't sound like a lot, but with 10 dudes on the bus, it is like a mile so it's currently not slid out because we're on the busy seats of Chicago outside of the Riviera shows almost sold out tonight biggest show of the tour and um, you know it's a little tight right now but I'm still happy to have you allegedly all right let's take you to the bunks as you know you know bands are very uh, prima donnas we don't like to touch doorknobs or do any work whatsoever so they just give us a button and these Star Trek doors take about four minutes to open so I'll be here you let me know when it's open I was probably about halfway at best there she is and we got our bunks I think this thing sleeps 12 we got 10 of us here everyone gets like their own plug and light and air and there's a uh, USB stuff and everyone gets a little pouch that you can put stuff in and see if anyone's home. Oh, sh Jeremy's sleeping. Okay. Guy's got a lot of killer work ethic. You know, got some cheese. Um, and yeah, you know, it's a it's clearly the floor is is disgusting, but we have a really good cleaning method for that. And if you want it clean, you just hit the floor lights and bam. Let me show you that again. Bam. Really disgusting, never would want to live here, and lovely. What a life. Easiest way to clean. Let's check out the back. That's where the fun happens. Got this. So this is the hangout zone. Gator gets his uh, kung fu on. Actually, we uh, one thing we do a lot is we'll We'll put on kung fu movies after the shows and put on some like great like funk and uh, or like how would you describe the music we put on? I'd say mysterious kung fu funk. So we try to find bands that we could play to the kung fu and watch it link up and it sounds really dumb but it is unbelievable. It's like watching you know the Wizard of Oz with Dark Side of the Moon. It's just like every time there's like a big scene and like the big crash happens on the one 
and uh, it's just like the most entertaining thing we've ever done, um, maybe more than our own live shows. It fires um, me up. It, it fires us all up, honestly. Um, so if you've never watched Kung Fu movies set to mysterious Kung Fu funk, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool, you know, we get to hang out, we just be chilling like this. You know, we'll, uh, we'll kick it after the shows, decompress, and uh, watch Kung Fu movies, which is a very little known fact about us. Some of us will be in the back room watching Kung Fu to funk music, and then that's like the chill hangout zone. People have some drinks, have some laughs back here, We've got some cheese. Um, Always. And then uh, up front is more of like where maybe work will get done, and it's nice to have two areas, so like if people are just like, the tour manager's working, or if Jeremy and I are working up there, we can be up there, but then you slide these doors back here and everyone's just laughing their ass off watching Kung Fu movies. It's a good split. Um, you know, we Yin got and yang. Kung Fu. We, we've been learning a lot, I'll be honest. Um, we, it's actually pretty cool. We're able to like hang our stuff here. About like, so this is the about nine of our things, and then from here over is our basis, amazing wardrobe. I mean, look at these jackets. You know, it is worth the space, and we give it to him. And he looks fantastic. Got a yoga mat in here, and uh, some towels and stuff. And I personally have three jackets on one hanger that I brought home, or brought with me from home because someone stole my hanger last time, and I was very upset about it. But I'm a mature man, and I didn't make a big stink, except for now, passive aggressively. Um, this was a fun day. This is our new merch guy, Tim. That's our Tim. That's our Tim at The Price is Right. We were just in L.A., and uh, it looks like he won, but Timothy just got that big, beautiful badge and uh, big, beautiful smile of his, and oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's not a vampire. That's uh, Angus Leslie from the band Sex on Toast from Australia. We've been talking with him online on Facebook for, like, years because we're a huge fan of his band. If you haven't seen Sex on Toast, watch their music videos, you'll be hooked. And uh, Angus happened to be in LA when we were in town playing at the Troubadour. And uh, we hit him up and he came out to the show and we played one of his songs live uh, called Oh Loretta, which I would highly recommend watching the music video and you'll understand why we did that. But uh, shout out to Angus, he also went to The Price is Right. And that's just surreal, that's just weird. He's our Australian brother and uh, he's a crazy man. Well, that's kind of it. You know, you've seen our bus. This is where we live. This is where we love to uh, decompress and get some show to show. And we're currently on this nationwide tour for our new album, Presto, which is available everywhere you can hear music. Check it out. And uh, if you want to come to our shows, pigeonsplayingpingpong.com will get you there. We're the only pigeons playing ping pong out there, so pretty easy to find. So I think it's time to play a huge show in Chicago. So if you wouldn't mind uh, get, getting out of here, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go prep. We'll see you next time.